Look, you're smart, you're cool, and you don't want to die. So you do things to reduce the harm of the risks you take. That's called harm reduction. Oh. It's all around us. Harm reduction is common sense. It stops people from being injured and dying from things that are preventable. It saves lives. It saves money. It's smart. Here's a fact. In just over two decades, more than a million people have died of drug overdoses in the United States. Because you're smart, you know these deaths are preventable. But here's something you may not know. Some kinds of prevention don't work. Just say no. Who taught you how to do this? Any questions? It's time to stop the drug. We've tried all these things, and still, the number of people dying of overdoses continues to rise. But remember, you're smart. And because you're smart, you want to stop these preventable deaths. Do you know what is clinically proven to work? Harm reduction. You remember that, right? <laughs> Harm reduction works for people who use drugs. It knows that people aren't perfect, but they deserve every opportunity to be as safe as possible. It encourages people to get educated and connected with healthcare. Harm reduction provides access to naloxone, the drug that reverses overdoses. It provides people with sterile supplies to prevent the spread of HIV and viral hepatitis. And when harm reduction is implemented in its most effective form, it gives people who use drugs access to overdose prevention centers in order to provide life-saving interventions in the event of an overdose. In more than 100 overdose prevention centers worldwide, there's yet to be a single fatal overdose. With so many people dying, what are you waiting for? Support safer, healthier communities by supporting overdose prevention centers in your city today. Learn more at www.harmreductionactioncenter.org.